hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in MVC using stored procedures how to bind data dynamically from database into radio button and here we got the final output on the browser notice the column name car name is binded to this radio buttons from this table using stored procedures car list if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in MVC, first we will check the, the table. The table name is a dbo.car which contains two columns car ID and car name. Now my aim is I want to bind this car name column to the radio buttons in MVC using stored procedures. So let's create a new stored procedure in sample db database let's minimize this tables folder in programmability expand that folder store procedures right click that one new store procedure and here we got the default store procedure code I'm deleting this default store procedures name and parameters I'm adding the store procedure name cars list is a store procedure name in the select statement I'm deleting the default one I'm adding the select start from the table name is dbo.car copy this one paste here let's execute this store procedure and we got a message command completed successfully let's check the store procedure is created or not and here we got the car list in the store procedures folder now it's time to write the coding part. Let's open Visual Studio. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new MVC application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework, I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is MVC Radio Button Store Procedure. Click OK. And from the templates, I'm selecting MVC. OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's close this default window. Open Solution Explorer. Now, in this project, I'm adding a new controller in this controllers folder. Right click the controllers. Add controller. I'm selecting MVC file controller empty. Add. And the controller name is click add and here we got our controller cards first thing in this controller I'm adding the namespaces of SQL server using system.data using system.data dot SQL client the last namespace I'm adding using system.configuration after adding these three namespaces the next step, I want to add the data source connection string in the web.config file. For that, let's open Server Explorer. In the data connections, right click that one, add connection. The server name, I am adding my SQL server name. After adding SQL server name, I am selecting the database name. Sample DB. Test connection. Succeeded. OK. OK. and the sample db.db was added under data connections now we need the data source of the sample db right click the sample db.db go to properties in the properties and the connections there is a connection string which contains a data source copy that one open solution explorer come to the bottom right? there is a web.config file open that one in the web.config file there is already a connection string so what I'm doing, I'm deleting this data source and I'm adding the, the data source which I have copied and I'm changing the connection string name to my connection after that switch to the controller now in the action result index which is get method I'm adding the string cars object list 
in this list I'm adding select list item course object is equals to new list after that string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I'm adding the connection string name which is my connection copy that one and paste here between the double quotes dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I'm adding this main con object after that SQL command SQL con is equals to new SQL command now in this SQL command method I'm adding my store procedure name which is cost list is our store procedure name I'm adding between the double quotes comma and the second parameter is a connection object which is a SQL con copy this one and paste here SQL com dot command type is equals to command type dot store procedure SQL con dot open method let's open the connection string and close the connection string with close method now between this open and close SQL data reader SGR is equals to SQL com dot execute reader method now I'm reading the data with the while loop while azure dot read method now inside this while loop I'm adding the course object the list course object dot add method new select list item let's close this add method now in this add method I'm adding the text property is equals to SDR between double quotes I'm adding the column name from the table the column names uh, here the car name copy this one this here the two string method comma the next property I'm adding value is equals to SDR between double quotes I'm adding the column name car ID copy this one this here dot two string method now the final step I'm adding this course object in the written view that's it we have done the coding part in the controller now we need the index view page highlight the index right click that one add view the view name is index and template empty without model click add and here we got our index view page now first thing add I'm adding model list class inside this list select list item after that I'm deleting this default header tag I'm adding center tag h1 MVC how to bind data from database into radio button helper using store procedure horizontal line now after the horizontal line I'm adding at for each loop variable X in model at HTML dot radio button helper I'm adding the first one is a string name between double quotes the string name I'm adding this action result index string course object copy this one paste here comma x dot value 
comma x dot selector comma new at id is equals to x dot value let's close this one after that i'm adding the label helper html dot label x dot text comma and the second parameter is the object html attributes new x far is equals to x dot value that's it we have done the complete coding part to bind the data into radio buttons dynamically but before run this application we must change the controller name in the rod.config file open solution explorer app underscore start expand that one rod.config.cs file open that one and notice the controller is the home which is a default one i'm deleting the home controller our controller name is a cars controller copy this one and paste here and the action result is the index only which is this page that's it now it's time to check the results on the browser, Google Chrome. And here we got the final output on the browser. Notice the column name, car name is binded to this radio buttons. From this table, using store procedures car list. That's it.